So I have here a news a case from Salesforce. I don't have any document attached. In the files, if I take a look, uh, I don't have my file. My file will be 0s. And running only a robot that is working with the REST API, I will show you that I'm able to add a file in Salesforce and I'm able to assign this file to the case. Yeah, let's. this is finish. Uh, let's go again to the files, say refresh. And we'll see that we have a new file that is called uh, 0s. And uh, this 0s file, it's assigned to our uh, case. You see that we have here an attachment with 0s file, and we have this uh, nice picture. Good. So hello, everyone. My name is Christian Nikulescu. You know me for a lot of automation with UiPath. We have the connector for Salesforce services now, Jira, and so on. I have a lot of videos regarding how to trigger UiPad robots from different software. You have the integration with Microsoft Teams, Slack, and uh, different other 10, uh, 15 softwares. Today we'll talk about Salesforce and we'll talk about REST API comments. A lot of you ask me how to, to upload the image to, to Salesforce via REST API comments without any uh, activity, yeah? So if you do it with activity, the steps are like this, adding the file, getting the ID of the file, and then assign the file. We will do all this stuff with REST API comments. Let's first show the REST API comments. So first, we need to authenticate to the Salesforce to get the, the, the token. After we get the token, we need to add the file. And when we add the file, we'll provide the, the, the folder of the file, the name of the file, and then we'll provide the uh, conversion to uh, base64 of the file. And I'll show you how to do this. Then we need to get the ID of the file. So based after the file is added in Salesforce, we need an internal ID for this. So we'll do a query on the Salesforce and we'll select. We say, I want to get the content ID from the content version where the file name is my file name. Yeah, this is the... And the last step is to assign this um, file to our case. You can assign it to contact, to account, to opportunity, to everything that you want. So basically, I will go and say contact document link. And here, I will do this. I will say the contact document ID is the ID that I get it here. I say the link of the document ID, which is the case ID. I will show you how to extract the case ID. And I will say that the share type is V. So this is all the, the REST API comments that you need to send to be able to upload the file to Salesforce and assign it to a case, for example. Yeah. Let's see what we have on your iPad Studio. So on your iPad Studio, we we'll start from here. Let's hope that um, everyone can see this um, uh, on my screen. Um, so first, I have an HTTP request for the uh, getting the authentication. So I have a post to this one, like I said, to create a token. On this uh, authentication, I say that I put on the headers. It's uh, the application WX uh, reloaded, and here it's cache control, no cache. Yeah, and then on the parameters, I have this. I have grant, which is a, a password, username, my username. Then I have the password, which is the password plus security token. You remember that you have on my uh, uh, my YouTube page, you have all the details how to extract this data. Then you have the client ID, and then you have the client secret. Okay. And this will return us the, uh, uh, in a JSON, will return us the authorization, and we'll use the authorization further. Then, if we take a look here, the next step is to add the file. So we have to build the JSON. We have to build the JSON or is the location of the file, the title of the file, and uh, the convert base. Now, I on the on the preview I uh, add the the file zero s. Now I'll add the file zero. Okay. So to be able to build the JSON, I have here a JSON variable. I will say GS object. I will declare it a G object, and I will say new G object. Yeah, so let's build that JSON. First on the JSON, I will say invoke method, and I say if on this JSON add, and I will add the pi, uh, the the path to the client will be uh, r zero G, uh, jpeg. Yeah, good. Then the next one which I will add is the title, and the title is dog name, and the dog name you see here that it's zero. Yeah. Uh, Okay, and next one, we'll add the um, 
the next one will add the, the file yeah so take a look here i have the version data which will be convert to base 64 bytes and let's see from what i get the bytes here i say bytes will be system input system input output file read all the bytes from zero jpeg yeah so in this way i read the file i transform it in bytes and then from bytes i transform it in string and i don't have any issue with this yeah then i will make the http request on the http request i do a post and on the post i will do the instance the instance i extract it from the auto authentication i get the instance my name of the instance and then i will say do it on the object content version okay then i will provide the body and i will say the body is json on the body i will say j object to string okay and uh, here i don't have any parameters i just have the headers remember to to have the that headers and on the headers on the headers you need to put authorization now so on the authorization you will have beer um, uh, g result access token so g result is the from the first um, json that i get uh, uh, the access token good i do this stuff I print the result and then I have to do the get. So I add the file in Salesforce and now I have to get an ID. This is returning an ID, but it's not the same. Believe me, we need to do the steps. So I will do a query and I will, I will ask, please give me the content ID from the content version where the title is doc document name. So I, will, I add the file that is zero jpeg and i will search for this uh, for the, uh, for this id so what i do i do the http request and i will say that is a get you have the link exactly from there yeah document select query and what i showed you uh, on the parameters nothing on the headers I have beer JSON. I need to put the authorization. I deserialize JSON. And on the deserialized JSON, I return an array of records. Yeah. And to be able to extract this array of records, I will do this. So the type of the element here is JSON. Yeah, it's J object. And here will be an array. And on the array, you'll say C type G result, result from the other one. Inside of the records will be a G array. So I do a for each and I will have just one element. Remember that I send with the limit one. And on the element, I will extract the content ID. So the item will be content ID, yeah, to string. And this is my, my content ID. The last thing, I need to send a post message. So this will be a post message. This is a get, this is a post, and this is a post. Um, a post message with the uh, on the content document link. This will create the link between the um, between uh, the file and the case yeah so i have to provide him the content id which i'll get from the function which is that's the, what was here what the result i have the link to the entity will be the case id and i will see that share type it's v yeah so let's go back and we'll see that i do this stuff first i provide the content document will be the content id uh, the last one I will provide the share. Share type will be V, and here I provide the uh, the link. Yeah, and I want to attach this to another case. Yeah, so I'll go here to the open case, and on the open case I will take this one. You see that I don't have any file connected to this one, so attachments none. Okay. And here, to be able to take the case ID, I will take it from here. Yeah. If you use the component and if you select, you can extract it with uh, getting get rules and so on. I just uh, take it here fastly to, to show you the demo. Yeah. So I will put here the ID. Okay. And then I send a comment. Yeah. So I send an HTTP request, a post to the uh, object content link ID, okay? And uh, as usual, I have the JSON format on the body, the JSON2, this is the second object, to string. And on the headers, I have the um, authorization token, okay? So this is the full uh, project and uh, we'll run it now again. And we'll see that we'll have, let's run it. And 
we should have a new file which is zero and we should have this file attached to this um, uh, uh, this new case yeah so let's go to files and refresh and yes we have zero file and this zero file if we go to related it's attached here yeah so if you try and fail congratulations most people true very true okay so that was the idea how to uh, uh, connect how to uh, attach and um, upload the file to salesforce and attach this file to a case but you can attach it to any any element from salesforce so these are all the uh, the comments and uh, the json that you have to uh, to uh, to send and remember this trick with uh, a change for bytes read from bytes and uh, change to base 64 to string yeah uh, as usual, if you like my channel, please subscribe to my channel here. And um, um, after you subscribe to my channel, please uh, like my videos and share my videos to your friend. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one and stay 